Hello, I'm Alex. And I'm Sarah. We're both health librarians at UTS Library. This presentation will show you how we approach the challenge of providing online higher degree research support while also keeping the university's research outcomes capability framework in mind. Higher degree research students are a growing cohort within the UTS community. These students undergo training to become researchers, to contribute new perspectives, and to also learn how to communicate their ideas with impact. But the road to get there is not always easy. There's no formal program of induction. Both students and supervisors have to choose their own adventure together by navigating the various programs, workshops, and support services by themselves. HDR students often feel overwhelmed by everything that's available, and their feedback is that it's often difficult to find what they need because there's just too many channels of communication. So there's a real recognition that we need more faculty level support available. Us health librarians have the unique opportunity to work with the Faculty Research Office in Health on a centralized offering of online support, a one-stop shop, if you will, hosted on Canvas for all things related to HDRs in the Faculty of Health. The Canvas site is structured with the HDR student journey in mind. So for example, students can start with administration and candidature requirements to find out about all the systems, forms and policies they need to be aware of before they start, um, followed by research training and managing research projects, and then they can jump on over to opportunities to maximise HDR development. Progression is linear, however, navigation does allow for students to jump between sections if they need to, or to come back and identify with the ease the section that they need. The two sections that the library contributed to were research methods and managing your research project, and also maximising your HDR development, opportunities and resources as these are areas that are traditionally supported, at least in part, by the library. The content that we contributed to the site covers a wide range of topics from what library services and support are actually available, guidance around scoping searches, support for literature and systematic reviews, research data management plans, and getting started with Stash, the system that UTS uses to host them, and note, building researcher profiles, understanding metrics and altmetrics, and even choosing where to publish. One area that we really wanted to emphasise was the information around scoping searches and systematic reviews, as there's something that we health librarians receive a lot of questions about in research consultations, so we know that this is a real pain point for students. You can see on these pages that we have included step-by-step -step breakdowns, video tutorials, and recordings of live workshops from our researcher week on these pages to help HDRs get started with their searching. So when they come to us in consultations, they already have an understanding of the basics and we can focus on really helping them fine tune their searching. Another page that we really pushed for inclusion was the EndNote page. Originally, we weren't gonna have any information about referencing software on this site as it was more focused on the HDR journey, but we recognize that EndNote is something that researchers can have a lot of trouble with. So we felt that it was important to include here just so that they're aware of where they can find support and resources. This Canvas site started as a one-stop shop for resources, but it's already developed into something much more comprehensive. This provides us with a variety of options going forward to further support HDR students through their candidature, whether it be through more support and training included on the Canvas site, or through more tailored workshops that we've based off their engagement with the online content. This is a really exciting initiative that could be a blueprint for how other faculties at UTS support their students online, and the library is really excited to be a part of it. Thank you for listening to us today.